UFC London goes down this Saturday night from the O2 Arena, um, live on TNT Sports. And what is a UFC London card without some talking points for us UK MMA fans? Whilst it has received a lot of criticism, I still think there are some good things to get stuck into um, for us people who will be watching from home instead of paying the incredibly high ticket prices. Uh, that's another talking point entirely. UFC debuts is the first point. What is a UFC London card without some debuts for us to get excited about? The one going under the radar for me is Mick Parkin, the heavyweight who trains with the likes of Phil DeFries and Tom Aspinall. He made his way through the Contender Series. He'll be facing Jamal Pogues early on in the night and you've got the, the the one that's become a big talking point Ireland Sean O'Bannon um, who is kind of hoping to lead this new wave of Irish superstars um, along with Ian Gary who of course is already right up there in the UFC welterweight division but also Rhys McKee who's returning soon at Paris and maybe Paul Hughes somebody like that um, lots of excitement around Sean O'Bannon the second point you've got two banging fights up on the main card with Lerone Murphy and Nathaniel Wood. Wood taking on Andre Feely, who is always in great fights to watch, and Lerone Murphy taking on Josh Koulibau, who a lot of people are excited about, uh, especially after his finish earlier this year. And if you've seen the tension between them, if you've seen the face-off in the hotel, I say face-off, more of a... Um, quite a polite disagreement, I would say. Um, the, the other excitement part of this is that the hopes of that we will see Lauren Murphy versus Nathaniel Wood rebooked after they were supposed to fight earlier this year. Um, that is going to be a fun one to see what happens after their fight and both matchups should be bangers anyway. And of course, the main event, two-legged Tom Aspinall. Um, so excited to see what he looks like after that injury last year against Curtis Blades. Um, he keeps saying that he's going to look completely different, um, has this newfound confidence in his ability. He's, of course, taking on Marcin Tybura, who, I've got to say, is looking very different um, compared to the last few times that we've seen him, looking in far better shape. Um, he believes that he has turned the corner in his career and he's on a decent win streak as well. Maybe not the fight that we would have hoped for, not the main event we would have hoped for, but excited to see Tom Aspinall come back um, and hopefully push on in that heavyweight division and put those injury woes behind him. Now, if you can read backwards, you will know that this says live results and a live stream before the prelims taking place on VMTV. So make sure to check that out. We've got a few cool guests lined up and enjoy the fights.